arrived in Kidami. So, arrived in the hotel, Top Tower Hotel. So there we are. So I've just come to the top floor of the hotel where there's like a, a bar with a panoramic view of Kigali. Right, so I've had some lunch and now I'm going to go um, get a taxi into the centre of Kigali and a bit of a wander. Compared to uh, Kampala, it just seems really clean and ordered. Really nice. No chaos. This is my hotel. Top tower. So I've just been to this hotel, which was um, the hotel that Hotel Rwanda was famous for, where he, he uh, saved lots of people. So this is it. It's quite amazing to think that this is the place where all that stuff happened. Anyway, I'm off for a wander into Kigali now. Lovely and warm. It's not as humid as Kampala, thankfully. So Kigali looks pretty modern around here. Um, not getting any hassle from anybody. Seems quite safe. This is a nice little roundabout in the middle of the uh, traffic all around. It's getting hot now. It's getting hot. This all looks a bit modern. So does that up there. Area um, downtown Kigali, just past the bank of uh, Kigali, that big skyscraper was the uh, the bank. Get into a mosque, see its minaret over there. Look at this bloody thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I found it. Onwards. By the way, I'm totally lost. I haven't got a clue where I am. Hopefully, I'll find something. Well, I finally worked out where, we, where I am. It's taken a while using my compass and this rubbish, lonely planet map. Might as well be a blank piece of paper. But hey, hell, I know where I am. Well, there it is. Looking like somewhere a James Bond arch enemy would live. Oh, so this is the view of um, Kigali from here. That would be a bit of Sarajevo from up here, actually. Finally made it back to the top tower hotel. Right, so I'm back in the hotel. Bought myself a couple of uh, Rwandan beers. And uh, this is what the Rwandan money is like. So that's the biggest note, 5,000 francs, worth about a fiver. Looking forward to having some of these later. And I'm going to go up to the top floor again to see what it looks like at night. So this is the view from the uh, top floor. Dark in here, very dark. All right, it's the next morning. Um, I'm about to go to the Genocide Museum. It's not going to be uh, very much fun, but got to do it. Arrived at the uh, the uh, Genocide Museum, about to go in. Came inside, it's like the eternal flame. And there's the skyline of Rwanda at the top. Quite impressive. It's hot again. So here. Inside it's harrowing. <coughs> Lots of pictures, horrible pictures and videos and... Yeah, not very nice. Horrible. It's hard to believe that these streets are full of dead bodies. Dogs eating them. So this is like um, a burial centre for people from genocide. There's all these flowers here because um, actually this time of year, this, this weekend I think, was um, the Memorial Day, the, the anniversary of that happening. Lots of flowers, most of them saying never again. Like this. Lots of a million people. In those mass graves. Lots of people come to pay their respects. So I'm back at the uh, Hotel de Mille. Um, it's really tranquil around here. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do now for the rest of the day, not much to do. But at least it's nice and warm. This is the closest I think I'm going to get to a Rwandan mountain gorilla. There they are. So I'm in a 
Rwandan Kigali shopping centre. Well, the the uh, waterfall's working today. It's a bit better. So I'm sat in another sidewalk cafe. Um, So I arrived back safe and sound, no problem. A bit hair raising though. Anyway.